Hey everyone, Brian here from Wild Lupin. Listen, I want to share something with you. I'm really ecstatic right now because I just got in a brand new light that I ordered from B&H in the States. It's the Draycast LED 500 Silver Series Bicolor LED Light, uh, Studio Light. So I'm really excited about it. And if you can believe it, I've held off from opening it because I want to do that on camera and show you. So we're going to take it out of the box, we're going to check it out, give it a few tests, and make sure it does a great job for my studio here. So the main goal for this light is to replace this light. This is a PAR38 with an LED spotlight in it. Um, of course the new light is going to be a changeable color temperature, we're going to have that option, and it's also going to be dimmable. This is not, this is on, it's the color it is, and that is it. So uh, this new Draycast light is going to be much more powerful and more useful than this. So anybody want to buy this? So here we go. I've got my, uh, my box cutter. We're all ready. We're going to open this puppy and check it out and give it a good test. Turn it a little bit here. Da -da -da -da. We need some elevator music while I'm doing this part. So we get rid of all the packing. What's that? Return and exchange policy. <laughs> Thanks. You ever see those monkeys that you open one barrel and they keep getting smaller? Well, that's exactly what we got happening here. So. And that can go that way. Clean up later. All right. So now that that's out of the way, we can open the, the real box. You, know, you always got to be careful using a box cutter on any piece of equipment like this. You don't dig it in too deep to the box because you don't want to cut it, right? You know, you can damage your equipment by going too deep with your box cutter. So, uh, hey, there, good safety tip. Excellent. So the first thing I always like to see is a carry case. Road cases, carry cases, excellent things to have with any piece of equipment. You know, you'll know that if you have a camera or something that you don't have a, a case for and uh, you travel a lot with it, it's really a pain. So. Nice to see that. I'm very happy about that. And that's not a surprise. I knew it came with that. Product manual. Good thing. That'll hold on to. I might actually read that. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Oh. I do see some marking on here that seemed to have shifted in, in shipping, but that's just probably a shipping issue. And believe me, after uh, six months of use, you won't even see that with the rest of the scratches that are going to be on it. Okay, so this is the light. We'll uh, move the box. Draycast LED light. One thing I like is it comes with the barn doors. I'm going to raise the camera up here in a sec. Okay, so here. Is what the fuss is about. This is the, the light. And I know it doesn't look like a light, but that's because the barn doors and flags are folded up. And I just gotta figure out how to unfold them. There we go. I was told they do stick and squeak a little bit. And there's a fix for that I found on YouTube. So I might have to check that out because that really does squeak but oh, bad. Hey, that one too. Wow, that's really quite a tight, uh, tight squeak. <laughs> We don't like squeaky lights, do we? No. Mice can squeak, lights shouldn't. So this is the, uh, what I'm assuming is the diffuser. We're going to find out. And it does have this covering on it. This is just a protective covering, which I noticed I can take off. I'm going to do that. So there you go. There's your diffuser, which is uh, nice to have. Another great option. So now we have a light that's by color, so we can change color temperature, we can dim it, and we can diffuse it. So use it hard without the diffuser, or nice and soft with the diffuser. Here's the light. It does have a uh, standard mount for for lights, which is great. It goes on to any light stand that I currently have. Should mount on your turtle stands and 
There we go. Turn it towards you a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, it is a little loose, but of course you have your, I'll show you them, your tightening dials here on each side. So you can put it into place. There we go. Bring it over. Excellent. Yeah, so Traycast. It takes the Sony NP batteries. Here's one here. The L-type batteries from Sony. That's right. Which I have a variety of too, so that's that's great. All right, so what do we got? I gotta turn so I can see here. There we go. So she's on. So the switch looks like the switch is two settings. Uh, one setting must be for the DC power, which it comes with, and this side of the switch goes over for batteries. So you actually have to switch the switch to switch from batteries to AC power. So one thing I did notice about this light as I was uh, working with it, I was actually wrong initially. I thought uh, because my icon light has a brightness dial and a color temperature dial, I assumed this was the same way, but it is not. What you have are two separate dials for the two different LED banks that are in it. And there's a yellow bank and a bank that's more on the blue side. So you have individual uh, level controls for each bank. So you can bring up just the yellow lights, you know, and usually have a color temperature about 3200 with those and adjust their brightness. And you can dial in how much of the other ones you want. So you have to kind of set up a balance between the LED banks to get the color temperature and brightness you want, which is quite interesting. Uh, uh, now that I realize that's the case <laughs> and I'm on the right track, uh, I think this is going to be quite, uh, quite useful. So I just couldn't understand the labeling here. I thought the labeling was wrong. The top one says, uh, t see if I can get the light on it here. The top one, if you can see that, says tungsten. Probably, I don't know if you can or not. And the bottom one says daylight. So those are the two banks you have individual controls for. And I'm gonna turn the light around here and adjust my camera. And I'll show you what happens when you adjust those. Okay, so just hold on a sec. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty dark in here and you're gonna see why in a second. I'm actually gonna have this light aimed right at the camera. And we're gonna start with the, the tungsten bank of LEDs here. So there they're on. And we can, like I said, we can adjust the, br the brightness level of that bank separately. So that's that bank. Turn it right off. And this is the, uh, what they call the daylight bank, which would be, uh, like I said, about 4,700 degrees Kelvin temperature. All right, so that's, those are individual controls for each bank. So you have to kind of balance them to get the color temperature you want. They're, they're both on about the same level. But you can use one a little more than the other. See? So I just wanted to show you that, that these lights are done with two different color banks. They're not actually changing color of the actual individual LED bulbs. So there you go. Did a little rearranging with my lights here now. We've definitely got a better, a better setup using the new uh, DryCast LED 500 light as the, the main fill light. And we're using the uh, Icon on camera light for a hair light or highlight. So. There you go, this is a much better setup. So this uh, light is going to be a great addition to our studio. All right, this is Brian from uh, Wild Loop and say we'll show you the next exciting thing that's happening and what we're doing here at uh, Wild Loop and Media and nslive.tv. Lots of great and creative stuff coming from us in this studio. So until next time, take it easy. Keep your shirts on, please.